has a reverence for life and a passion to see that followed throughout the whole United States or the whole world. And uh, we have uh, an organization, a ministry here uh, in this Chattahoochee Valley area called the Chattahoochee Valley uh, United for Life Ministry. And we're delighted to have this morning one of the coordinators, uh, uh, one of the workers there in uh, that good ministry, Ms. Rachel Lane, to share with us a special project or special ministry that's going on that we hope you will get involved in as well. So Rachel, if you would, please come and share with us. Thank you. Thank you for the privilege of uh, letting me speak and taking this uh, time out from your worship service, which is absolutely beautiful. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I am with Chattahoochee Valley United for Life. Uh, we are in the middle of a program, a campaign called 40 Days for Life. Um, this campaign is a focused pro-life uh, campaign that generates measurable life-saving results. So far, 40 Days for Life campaigns have been conducted by, in 501 communities in 19 nations. It's gone clear around the world. More than 7,500 children have been reported as saved from abortion. Um, there, it's, there are three components to this uh, campaign. One is prayer and fasting, um, inviting people of faith throughout the city to join together for 40 days of fervent prayer and fasting for an end to abortion. There is a uh, peaceful vigil, standing for life through a 40-day peaceful, prayerful public witness outside the local abortion business at Columbus Women's Health Organization, 3850 Rosemont Drive. And also the third component is community outreach, taking a positive, upbeat, pro-life message to every corner of our city, Phoenix City and Columbus. Uh, we have many, many, many people come from Alabama over to the um, Columbus Women's Health Organization for abortions. Uh, through, okay, uh, then all participants are asked to sign a, pe a statement of peace in which they pledge to conduct themselves in a Christ-like manner. And uh, for more information, you can go to 40 days for life, all one word, dot com. And 40 is the numbers. The overview, overview of our... Um, campaign is it runs from September the 25th through November the 3rd. We are united with many others from coast to coast and internationally for a major simultaneous pro-life mobilization, um, the 40 Days for Life campaign. Faithful believers are praying that these efforts will mark the beginning of the end of abortion. 40 Days for Life is a focused pro-life campaign with a vision to access God's power through prayer, fasting, and peaceful vigil to end abortion. The mission of the campaign is to bring together the body of Christ in a spirit of unity during a focused 40-day campaign of prayer, fasting, and peaceful activism with a purpose of repentance to seek God's favor, to turn hearts and minds from a culture of death to a culture of life, thus bringing the end to abortion. The potential benefits are many besides saving babies. Um, abortion rates are reduced by 15, 20 to 25 percent or more, and we are praying that the abortion mill in Columbus will be closed down with, uh, with this prayer, uh, this campaign. Uh, we've seen um, many other abortion mills closed down in the country. Uh, this, another potential benefit is that it leads post-abortive women and men into proven and effective healing programs, such as uh, Rachel's Vineyard. Sound Choices also does post-abortive counseling. It brings churches together in a historic display of Christian unity and action. And then it makes the sanctity of life a crucial um, issue throughout our community and in upcoming local, state, and national elections. Why 40 days, you may ask. Noah experienced transformation during 40 days of rain. Moses was transformed by 40 days on Mount Sinai. David was transformed by Goliath's 40-day challenge. Elijah was transformed when God gave him 40 days of strength from one meal. Uh, Jesus transformed the world following his 40 days in the desert. The disciples were transformed after spending 40 days with Jesus following his resurrection. What will God accomplish when people of faith across our community and beyond unite for 40 days of prayer and fasting, pulling out all the stops to end the violence of abortion? Well, we don't know, but we're sure excited to find out. 
The track, rec the track record uh, between 2004 and 2013, some 501 cities in 10 nations have conducted 10 40 Days for Life campaigns with measurable life-saving results. More than 575,000 people of faith and conscience have joined together to pray and fast for an end to abortion. More than 225,000 people have taken to the streets. More than 16,000 church congregations were activated and united for life. And then, of course, the most important part, 7,536 children have been saved from abortion. Those are just the ones that we know about. 83 abortion workers have quit their jobs, and 92% of 40 Days for Life participants reported that they grew spiritually and personally through their involvement in the campaign. There are numerous advantages to holding 40 Days for Life campaigns in many areas at the same time. It brings unity and in, in, is fostered as cities and towns and churches work together. The media will stand up and take notice, we hope. The abortion industry will have a difficult time defending itself when it is besieged with prayer and ma on many fronts simultaneously. And the positive results experienced during 40 days build strong momentum, which leads to involvement long after the campaign. In closing then, a few years back, when I was in high school, just a few years ago, you know, uh, sociology class, I remember our teachers saying, as the women go, so goes the nation. And I thought that was really kind of an interesting statement that he made. The last 40 years have shown that a great many women have bought into the materialistic, secular, greedy, selfish lie that a baby is a problem that needs to be eliminated, not a blessing from God. Now we have 55 million plus dead babies here in America and many, many more around the world. In the last 10 years, we have lost approximately 1,500 babies a year at the abortion mill in Columbus. That is 15,000 precious babies I keep a journal. I'm, I'm a, a sidewalk counselor down there, and I keep a journal, and they do between 20 and 30 abortions a week. They come down from Birmingham, and uh, the staff comes down from Birmingham. The doctor, one of the doctors, comes from Decatur and, and performs his... Um, anyway, um, uh, so then if you take 30, say 30 times 52, and you'll come up with the, with the amount a year. So what are you going to do about it? Do you have the moral courage to go and pray and fast, to stand and pray for an end to abortion in America and closing down of the abortion mill here in Columbus? What does God call you to do? Do you have the moral courage to say no more abortions, that the shedding of innocent blood must end? Can you give one hour to come and pray? All we're asking is that each church picks one day. Uh, we have several days several too many days left uh, for, for churches to sign up for. And we ask that you take one hour. If you want to stay longer, that's fine. Um, and the pastors here will take care of your signing up and picking a day. And I just ask you to consider um, coming and praying for an end to abortion. And then you have to sign the statement of peace. That's just to ensure that everybody will behave themselves. We had some... <coughs> excuse me, people come over last year um, just randomly, randomly, and they um, started calling out um, to the people that were coming and going from the uh, abortion mill that they were murderers and killers and a bunch of things that were not good, not Christian-like, okay? I thank you for your time, and I would also like to invite you, um, along with 40 Days, uh, that we are having a, a, a week from today, yeah, we're having Life Chain, and Life Chain is when, uh, it's from 1.30 to 3 on Sunday afternoon, and you come and stand um, there uh, on the corner of uh, Woodruff and Rosemont, we're lining up on, on um, uh, Woodruff Road, right there on the, I guess that would be, what direction, south side of um, St. Francis, on the road that goes behind St. Francis, and we hold signs, pray for an end to abortion, and, and, uh, and Jesus heals and forgives, we have uh, several signs like that, we have a, a short little rally at the beginning, a, a praise rally, I might see if I can incorporate some of the singers here, and um, uh, then we go and stand and pray, and then we'll have a little a, 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 a miniature rally at the end, so it's from 1.30 to 3 next Sunday, and you are all cordially invited, and then on November the 3rd, we're having our closing ceremony with 40 Days for Life, and we're calling it a Jericho March, and I'm just going to leave that um, a little mystery there, but you're welcome to join us then too, and I think the hours will be the same, November, Sunday, November the 3rd. Thank you for your time, and um, um, 
also with this prayer that if you can um, add to it fasting because I have heard from a very famous man that prayer and fasting is the most powerful force on earth. And so I welcome you to come pray for an end to abortion. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much, Rachel. We're so grateful you've